Okay, let's settle something about kimchi. Should I be using rice flour in my kimchi? I've had a couple reasons for using rice flour in kimchi, from acting as a binder slash thickener to acting as food for fermentation. Personally, I don't like to use it, and every time I've made a batch with rice flour, it hasn't been as good. I just use good old gochugaru to thicken my paste. I also find it adds a lot more unnecessary work, especially for a staple like kimchi, which you always have to have in the fridge. And nobody I know around me really bothers with it either. And you know what? I don't even measure anything when I make kimchi, and the one time I did try measure everything I use in my kimchi, it was the worst batch I ever made. All I do is liberally salt some Chinese cabbage to dehydrate it. Don't worry about using too much salt, we're going to rinse it off anyways. Then throw a shitload of garlic into a blender with some onion, ginger, and whatever fruit I have, which just happens to be grape this time, and some fish sauce. Blitz that into a thick liquid, then add gochugaru until it reaches a thick paste-like consistency. Gochugaru is where like 90% of the flavor is going to come from, so don't skim out on it. Also, this kimchi is supposed to be spicy. If you don't want spicy kimchi, I recommend you try water kimchi. While we're doing this, we're going back to our cabbage every so often, turning it over and massaging more water out. And once the cabbage reaches this level of limpness, we're going to rinse it in fresh water, then really squeeze the living daylights out of it. Simply mix that cabbage with the kimchi paste. If you have daikon, you can peel and cut that up into thin strips and add those too. Throw that into a fermenting vessel, leave it at room temperature for a week, make sure to relieve the pressure every so often, then throw it in the fridge to store while you enjoy it. 